In today's episode of BP Builds, we drop the engine into the engine bay, replace the universal joint and the drive shaft, and install a gas tank. After multiple unsuccessful attempts to get the engine and transmission combo in the engine bay, we decided to just go ahead and remove the front bumper and radiator support. These are easily removed with just a couple of half inch bolts each that come free with heat, penetrating oil, and battery powered impact guns. This makes loading the engine in the engine bay immensely easier and we are able to line up the engine with the correct motor mounts for a 1969 Pontiac. We are also replacing the rear drive shaft U-joint. It is okay to use destructive means like this on a part we are replacing. Okay, I'm going to leave this as it is just snubbed so that we can then raise the car again. Make sure we are centered in the yoke and then tighten it down. The last thing we will accomplish this weekend is strapping in a refurbished fuel tank which we got from the local spot. Some threaded rod and nuts are used to bridge the gap between the straps and the car's frame. Then it's just a matter of connecting some rubber fuel line to the hard line already there. Thanks for watching. Please let us know what you think in the comments below. Follow our Instagram for more pictures and teasers at BP Builds. Please subscribe to our channel to follow our progress. How safe do you want this car to be? Safe enough to do burnout. It's all about the burnout. Well, the fuel line is connected enough to do a burnout. Is that, is that an adequate answer? Make sure you throw an extra zip tie on there. <laughs>